West Oakland is a community of about 20 to 25,000 residents, uh, primarily black and Latino. Not a lot of resources here, like whether it be food, clothing, medical. It's an area that has kind of been neglected. A lot of the things in our neighborhood we can't control, right? You live in the slums, you live in the ghetto, there's substandard housing all around, there's environmental pollution all around, but at the end of the day, you select what you put in your body. Yeah, I always thought it was normal, you know? It was McDonald's on Friday and corner store Monday. So, uh, as far as what my old diet used to consist of, we can just run down the entire Frito-Lay catalog, uh, Fritos, Cheetos, Doritos. I used to eat the, uh, the two for a dollar gummy worms. All the two for a dollar candies, I'd rack up on those. At the peak of my health issues, uh, I would get heart pains pretty regularly. You know, I would uh, start to get dizzy or feel like I was gonna pass out even if I just had a meal. The short of breath, you know, the, the hazy vision and all that. And it would come and go, but I never thought of it as a big thing. I always thought, you know, that was just normal health. To be perfectly honest with you, I didn't really think I'd live past like 40 or 50. I figured I'd get a heart attack and that would more or less wrap things up. The work that we do connects two populations that have been traditionally left out of the mainstream food system. Small minority farmers and urban markets like West Oakland. Our food comes from a 100 to 200 mile radius of this store. Our biggest outlet for our produce is the Mandela Foods Cooperative. They take the bulk of our produce and then they sell it to the community at very affordable prices. I used to hate how we didn't have a grocery store and now that we have one uh, and I work for it, I'm proud. I feel like I'm really making a change. I love making a change to my community. The store itself is a great effort, but it's only one location. We want to expand the reach of healthy food, and one of the ways we can do that is by putting it in corner stores. The one thing that West Oakland has no shortage of is corner stores. Five green bell peppers, five red bell peppers, uh, 15 limes, 15 potatoes, and uh, five pomegranates. I'm going to strap everything down to the trailer. Everyone calls this salt and pepper. We're seasoning for life, bro. <laughs> this is our transportation, our equivalent of our truck, our delivery truck. We do have to watch out though, because there's uh, going to be a lot of impatient drivers, dude. I usually wake up in the morning kind of like, like happy that I'm about to go to work. So here we are at Bottles Liquor in West Oakland. But we're just going to stock the shelves with everything that we've brought for the store. It's essential to have, you know, uh, fruits and vegetables accessible in any community. The emotion I get from the customers that we, that we have and that we talk to, is, that's pretty satisfying. All these leafy green vegetables, eating them is kind of like putting new blood into your body. You know, oftentimes, uh, you know, our young people, I was in this position, you become somewhat apathetic with the circumstances that you're in. It's like, I can't do anything about this, you know, this is always going to be this way, no one cares about us. Whatever, what's the point? And part of what this work is about is changing that mentality and showing people that, specifically young people, that they can do whatever they choose.